I went to Italy. Like, Italy was cool, man. You know, it was wicked when I went to Italy. <laughs> this freaked me out. Brown people, you got to go to Italy. It'll mess them up. I went to Italy. The Italians thought I was Italian. <laughs> and I didn't have the heart to tell them I wasn't Italian, right? Because it seemed kind of cool to be Italian for a little while. Until they started speaking Italian to me. <laughs> then I just looked like I was retarded, you know? Because... <laughs> They're walking out to me on the street. A signore, sono dove cosa dici, Pasco Dante? Pasco Timber, che dote, briti? Timber, che dote, briti? Timber, che Si, man. Then when I told the guy I was Indian, he would freak out. Indiano? No, Indiano. In no, Indiano. Mario, che cazzo va indiano? No, no, indiano. Like I told him I was a friggin' ghost or something. No. Because they can't picture Indian people that are just normal over there, you know? In their heads, Indian people are... And we show up and shatter their miserable dream for them. If you guys get a chance to go to Italy, it's cool, man. You don't even need to learn how to speak Italian. That's the good part. All you need to do is learn how to read their hand signals. Because every word in Italian has a hand signal that goes with it. Everything. It's like they all used to be deaf at some point, you know? Everything. Hey, 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 down here, hey. What the fuck? Did you know that? I swear to God, this in Italian, you know what this means? This is what the fuck in Italian. Right here, this little hand motion is what the fuck. They'll look at you and they'll go, hey! This is what the fuck in Italian. You know what this means in Indian? You want to eat? You want to eat. You imagine an Italian guy walking into an Indian restaurant? Hey, what the fuck? Hey, hey, hey. Buffet is over there. And you watch your language. Or somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. <laughs> My Chinese friends, you all right over there? How you doing, bro? Didn't you try and sell me a purse earlier? Just kidding. Just kidding. What's your name? No, the Chinese guy. You're the black guy. But, you know, whatever makes you happy, you know what I mean? Uh, my Chinese friend, what's your name, sir? Anthony, that's what I thought when I looked at you. <laughs> looked right at me, that's an Anthony right there. That's a... You have a Chinese name as well, Anthony? Yeah, I do. What's your Chinese name? Should I say it with the Chinese? Say it, you know, proper, however Chinese people would say your name. <laughs> I don't, not, and don't go, Anthony! No, I don't want that, you know what I mean? I want it. I want it. I'm on the proper Chinese version. <laughs> What's the Chinese name? Top Sun Bong. Doesn't that mean you're gonna get high? <laughs> hey, you want a Top Sun Bong? <laughs> That's a wicked name, man. Top Sun Bong. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong or not, but it. This is the way it is now. You know? <laughs> Sounds cooler than Anthony. Unless you're Anthony by day and tap some bong by night. <laughs> You'd be like a, like a Chinese superhero, man. It's China man. <laughs> he got two chopsticks on his shirt. Shooting noodles out of his wrist. Catching bad guys with stale fortune cookies. <laughs> Confucius say, you go to jail, bad boy. 